what's good everyone today we are finally onto the battle system and um to be honest i have zero clue on how to do this because uh just, we don't even have anything but um you know if you guys want to follow the other lumian legacy tutorial that i made go ahead i feel like it'd be better but um today it's not gonna be the actual battle but um we're gonna do stuff for the battle system yeah if that makes sense i don't know um we're gonna do some module scripts and we're gonna do choose a starter lumion or whatever because we need a lumion and then we're gonna make data saving so it'll be easier for our inventory system and yeah yeah you get it okay um so first we're gonna work on the starter um lumion thingy yeah so um <clears throat> uh okay what do we do okay let's just do uh choose starter gy and then yeah that's what i'm gonna name it okay so um yeah now we have that okay just customize however you want i'm gonna have three lumians or whatever you want to call it to uh, you know be chosen and stuff uh customize this i'm gonna make a ui corner so uh press this plus make a or and um you know search up ui corner and check there you can name this whatever you want to name this bg aka background okay so i'm gonna make this and i'm gonna color it over here on the side color it whatever you want but i'm gonna color it like this um <clears throat> yeah and then so that's that and then we're gonna have um okay I'll just do like UI grid layout. So you know, do the same thing, but UI grid layout. layout. And then we can do um an image button for now, I guess. And how does it look? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I'm just gonna add another one because we're gonna customize this real quick. Let me customize it. Uh, oh God, no. Okay, just um, you guys can see after I finish this. Honestly, I just want to see what the fuck. Um, you know, just uh, do to 50. I don't know. Okay, and then do this. Um, what am I doing, bro? How do you work? The okay, whatever. We're not doing that. It'll be the same thing. Um, just uh, so yeah, size it however you want. Cause that was mad confusing uh yeah i'm gonna do this uh you guys can see it okay uh wait uh no 1.5 oops wait 15 okay no let's just uh put it here five and then two yeah i think that's good um I'm gonna name this start, uh, image button starter1 and then I'm gonna duplicate it and just actually we're just gonna move this to the middle like that starter2 uh, you guys can copy my thingy and my settings and stuff and then this is starter3 so uh yeah yeah th that's that's just how I'm gonna leave it what the, that does not look all right, that looks good, I guess. Okay. All right, yeah, we did that. Now, um, I'm gonna add some UI corners into all of these, just to make it look better. And yeah. So, um, yeah, we're gonna actually just make a local script inside of Star UI and name it, uh, <clears throat> client scripts, which are actually let's rename the do uh, the doors client um okay so before you guys watch this i recommend watching door one because uh you know we're gonna do some stuff with it so client scripts name that one and you could delete this other one okay so um yeah so we just have that now we can actually just like title these this is the events uh starter gui okay so <clears throat> We're gonna have to do something for uh, starter in pairs. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna do 
Script the parent, wait for child, choose starter, and then uh, BG, like that. And then you're gonna get children. Like that. So it should look like this. Script up parent, wait for child, the GUI name, and then the frame name. And then you wanna get the children in the frame. So, which is these. And then we're gonna do if starter is a image button. So, because we don't want this UI corner, because, you know. It's a child in this frame. We don't want that though. We only want the image buttons. Okay. So starter. Got mouse button one click connect function. Okay. And then we're gonna do. Um. <clears throat> we're gonna just do. We're just gonna fire a mode event. Okay. Uh, also, you can make this false, and then um, we're gonna do this into a service group service, and then. <clears throat> you want to name this, um, remote listener, I guess, okay. So, you're gonna want to make another remote event in here. Uh, starter. Uh, event, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna delete all that. Now we're gonna do... <clears throat> do we have replicated storage? We do not. Uh, I, I feel like we should make it really quickly replicated storage Replicated storage and then um like that and then you want to just replace this Um, Yeah Okay, that should be good. Yeah, and then um local door event. So now we do local starter event Replicated storage wait for child remotes uh, starter event <coughs> And then we can do starter event, fire server. And then f do you want to do starter dot name or yeah dot name. And then if we were to go here, just uh copy all of these to be honest. Do this. You can remove the door event. I don't think we're gonna need that here. Starter event, the on server event. Um, and then you want to get player and then the starter lumion okay so print starter i just want to show you guys that this works hopefully so oh wait uh, okay no we're gonna have to rename these whatever the i just realized that okay so you want to rename these to your lumion's names okay so uh Jesus Christ, I have no clue what they're called. Um, I'm gonna make some up. Uh, you know what? I'm calling it starter one. Call it whatever you want, okay? Um, but I'm gonna explain to you guys what you're gonna need to do because <clears throat> you're gonna have to change some stuff. Oh, I did not even make the GUI visible, but we're gonna do it over here. So, player GUI visible, okay? So, we go to our output. Output and we click on starter one it prints starter one let's click starter two it prints starter two and then start two. yeah so uh yeah that works um we just want to now <clears throat> make the gui invisible so actually it would be better if we um made a transition frame or a variable but um or not transition uh a variable for all the UIs, but um, we'll just do this. A script up here for child bg. Dot. For now, <clears throat> we're gonna change these UIs and uh, er, the UIs, and I'm gonna give you guys the files, and I'll even show you how to make them, but not in this episode probably. So yeah, I think oh, that's the starter. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay. So we made it sprint. You know this stuff. Um, we might actually need a viewport frame for this, just so we, it looks better, but, um, I have no Lumions right now, or whatever you want to call this. So, for now, we're gonna do that, but in the future, I'll show you guys maybe how to make them, because I have no clue how to model, but, um, yeah, okay. So, now, once we do, there, because we did that, uh, actually, let's just put this under here. Okay, so then hopefully you don't 
to be honest, let's just um just disable this whole GUI. We do not want to uh, uh, let the player choose another one, another Lumion. So just one, and then um yeah. So and then <clears throat> okay um okay we're gonna make a value in the player real quick and then we're gonna save that. I think that's what we're gonna do. So local starter val. We're gonna make it a string value, and then we're gonna parent it to the player. And then we're gonna name it to the starter lumion, so whatever it's called. And then we'll even print it again. Just yeah. Okay, and then we parent that to the player, but player dot owned lumions you're gonna call it okay dot own lumions and then we're gonna have to make this folder and we're gonna have to save it so just uh copy this and then you want to go to or make another script in here name it what i just deleted the script okay you name it um to, to uh, data i guess i don't know okay and then um Oh my god, okay. Game not player that player added connect function. I'm gonna do player in here. And then local owned Lumians. I'm just gonna do this so it looks better. Instance style. It's gonna be a folder, okay? And then that parent is equal to player. That name is equal to and now paste that one. Okay. So if we were to test this out, let me just play real quick it should make a value so if we open up players over here and then own lumions it should make a value in here so starter and then there we go as you can see you can now open it and okay the value is not changing oh wait i think it's because we called it that okay uh yeah we t if you guys want you can also the val the value is equal to yeah Okay, so that's that. Uh, we're gonna make this GU or frame show once, like, storyline and stuff. But, um, yeah, for now, I'm gonna do this. Okay. You just press this little I button at the top. Okay, and, um, now we actually have to make data store. And then I think in the next episode, we'll do, um, the inventory. But after we do the data store, I'm gonna end this video. So let's go ahead and make it. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is get data store service so local. Uh, let's also get players while we're here. So game, the service players local, and then now it's got data store service. So uh, store service. Okay, and then we're gonna do a key. Um, tutorial, mine, data store. Yeah, name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> but I just want to let you guys know if you re if you like rename this data store, it'll reset like everything basically. If that makes sense, I don't know. So the key, that's the key. Na you can name it legit whatever you want. But I think there's a limit thingy cap, whatever it's called. So um, okay. Yeah. So now we can do local data store. Or right, whoops, data store service. Um, <clears throat> get data store and then you want to put the key okay and then so okay we already made the folder here so we're gonna do a local underscore right and then um <clears throat> my god uh lumians i guess um okay so local success uh error message um p call function okay now you're gonna do Lumions. <clears throat> Is it good data store? Get uh, async and then um, uh, player dot user ID and then oh, whoops. <clears throat> okay, now this you're gonna wanna you know you're gonna have to remember this. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm not because really check it, but. Okay, so if okay, if success um and lumians is not you know then um 
gonna do this in pairs. Lumians <clears throat> do local new out is gonna instance a new string value. We're gonna do the same thing right here. The name is equal to V, and then the parent is equal to owned Lumians. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And then we just have to. And then we could do warn error message. Okay, so that's that. And then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna actually make a function for the player for moving. So this is where you actually like save it. You know, um, like if they leave. So what we have to do is do the same thing, but table. Okay. So uh, yeah, uh, just make it a table. Go down and then do same thing. Error message pcall function. And then okay, what we're gonna do is now for my comma v and pairs. Um, player. Oh, whoops. Player. Dots. I'm just gonna do this. Copy and paste it. Um. Get ch child. Get children. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna insert. Lumians. And be done. And then that's it. And then we just do the store set async player. Oops. Player dot user id dot dot. And you wanna name it the same thing up up here. Lumion. So just to make sure, just copy and paste. Okay. And then you're gonna do comma Lumions. And then that's it that and then we go down here <clears throat> if success then we're gonna print uh lumion successfully saved <clears throat> but if they don't then we're gonna warn a warn my god <clears throat> and then we're gonna do players the variable that we do or, you know uh player removing next and then we're gonna do player removing here Okay, and then game bind to close function <clears throat> uh for i convenient pairs players get players do player removing v and wait one oh, oh, wait one and now i think that's your whole script your whole data store script so if you were to press play it's gonna warn us right now Okay, <clears throat> which is I'm pretty sure what we want. Okay, and then if we go to players, it's because we have nothing here. Let's click. Now we have started a one, right? Let's stop and let's see in the output if it's saved. Lumion successfully saved. Okay, so now if we were to press play, it should still be there. There we go. See? Yeah. There we go. Um. Yeah, there you go, okay? That's how we do it. Um, might look confusing, but also to, um, let's make the value V. Or the name. And yeah, that's it. Um, it, yeah, like I said, it might look confusing, but it, it, it'll all make sense once we make the actual, in, actual inventory system and stuff. Now, I know I said we're gonna do some modules today, but, um, the video is like already way too long, so I'm gonna end it here. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, if you guys want more content like this, do the same thing. But um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.